In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CTrader app to do uh, back testing using the replay um, feature. And I'm going to be doing that um, using the case study of um, GBP USD trade, which uh, occurred on the 16th of May. Uh, let's delve in. Right, so first of all, um, uh, before I place trades, I like to understand what exactly is going on on the uh, economic calendar for the week. And on that particular day, 16th of May, uh, prior to um, selling GBP USD, um, in London session, there was already uh, pound news, which was Clement's count change. And then in New York session, there was also going to be um, dollar news. So that day, I already knew that uh, likely would is that um, one of the most volatile pairs in the market that day would be a combination of these two currency um, that do have the news which will uh, amount to GBP USD. So let's get on the chart to see exactly how it's played out. Um, so this is um, trading view. This is the um, this is the trade setup, and it actually delivered about one ratio 5.5, almost six percent actually and uh, uh it took less than 24 hours to actually do that however however i wouldn't be using trading view to explain this um trade setup i will be using um c trader instead so let me open the c trader app and then uh, let's switch to c trader right so this is um c trader uh 4.7.9 and um so uh, for those of you who are probably new to this channel i actually use uh, the c trader app for um setting price alerts it actually does have a free feature that allows you to set price alerts by clicking this button and you can literally just set price alerts so you don't have to monitor um the charts uh every time so once you click on that it brings up a pop-up and then you type in whatever you want to name that alert and that is basically it so um prior to that i realized there's actually a new feature on trading view which um, interestingly is a replay feature so that actually allows you uh, to use that feature to backtest your chart similar to what TradingView also offers except that TradingView offers it at uh, for the pro accounts however for CTrader I, I believe it's completely free at least for the time being um, so how exactly um, can we maximize this uh, this uh, feature for backtesting so i'm going to use that to explain this trade so firstly um from the economic calendar i mentioned gbp usd was already my target um for that day and um what did i need to do uh, for me to sell i needed to see uh to understand where the liquidity target would be that is where is price likely to draw into and that was obviously this point this uh, double bottom over here so this double bottom was actually my target to sell uh, GBP USD straight into it and um, so one thing is before I sell I like to see buy liquidity taken and prior to my sell I like to target sell liquidity likewise so in this case this was the buy liquidity this was the sell liquidity um, so I'll switch to the one hour time frame and then let's use the back test feature um, to actually explain this trade or oh, you know what let's use the 15 minutes so the flip side to this is uh for now the replay feature on c trader doesn't actually allow you to switch time frames so for better effectiveness i think i would rather just use the replay uh feature on 15 minutes so let me start from um this point may 15th right uh so I really do not do anything. I just click the starting point and click on start. So what that does is it will load the data and then detach um, the chart for you to go ahead into the replay uh, arena, which you then start with. right so firstly i'll pause that and uh, let me load a template i can work with yes 
so this is the template i like to work with so um moving into so basically the, the replay feature it's similar to trading view this is the pause this is the stop this is if you want to fast forward and this is if you want to add a timestamp to that particular day um so let's play this uh to when 16th actually commenced right so let's pause at this point so from this point actually remember from what i explained uh, previously i would want to actually see this point uh, taken out completely that is this liquidity right here interestingly this was also a double top so this was my initial target i wanted price to take this out then i start considering sales so let's see how that played out let me increase the speed right so interestingly about this time was when the gbp news for london session came in and we can see how market just literally sold off straight up so typically uh, i explained that the market maker trading plan is usually just um uh the accumulation phase the manipulation phase and then the trend phase um so i believe that this was the initial manipulation because uh, basically at this point uh, if you had wanted to sell looking at this news you could have felt you missed the move otherwise if you had sold you would have made some profits and um, almost immediately afterwards um, price started retracing so truth is initially when this happened i felt well uh, i believe i had probably missed that already onto the next one but then so the the idea behind this is for those who trade news i always advise you wait till after the news is released at least 15 minutes afterwards before you then engage so for those who trade news if you had bought you'll have definitely lost if you had bought trying to target these eyes you'll have definitely lost however the sales would have won but it was more or less a uh, old my best scenario so if you had decided to sell the pullback obviously you would have lost that likewise so this was the buy side liquidity and then price took that so which means for those who sold if they hadn't broken even price will have likely eat their um, stop losses so those who had bought prior to the news will have gotten bonds those who had sold prior to the news will have also gotten bonds so this was a classic scenario for a very good um sell setup so prior to new york session now um i was waiting to see what exactly would happen now the interesting thing is notice how uh right so that was the eye and notice how price never closed above this particular eye so that meant that this move right here was typically just a stop on so when i saw that and then i saw this momentum drop uh into the G the usd news in new york session i knew that likelihood is that this is going to be a good sell setup to target um that liquidity i had mentioned so um i think i lost that point let me put an horizontal line at that point so the price is 1.24362 1.24362 right so this was uh, the target for the sales so the truth is after the news i did not just get in i wanted price to actually pull back and um, typically i would have preferred to get in say at this other block or um at least at this breaker block but then it looked like price was never going to uh, pull back and after seeing this 
So after seeing this massive bullish run, I did not want to engage into that because I mean, I wasn't trying to buy into a bullet move. But then, as soon as I saw this, I got in on the five minute time frame somewhere around this point and set my stop loss um, just right here. So this was more or less the framework behind the cell, the initial manipulation. Uh, manipulated both the sales and the buys and then uh, we saw the momentum drop prior to usd news and then i got in somewhere around here with my stop loss um, somewhere around here and uh, that was basically it and price just kept on dropping dropping and i think uh, the take profit eventually got it the following um the following day london session and uh, that was it for gbp usd so more or less, I think you can go ahead and freestyle, try using the replay um, feature in Ctrader. And uh, let, me, let me know, you could simply join my Telegram channel. Uh, the link is just uh, in, this, in the description box and also uh, the link is right on the screen. Join my Telegram channel, uh, join the chats group discussion and ask questions if you have or just post your questions in the comments um, section. So this was really a nice trade that spanned out last week on the 16th of May. I mean, price took sellers, took buyers, and then dropped prior to the news. And it was a really good move. So um, what uh, key takeaways from this video, um, the economic calendar for the week is a very good um, indicator as to what pairs would have the best volatility for the week. Um, so secondly, would also be that Tuesday typically creates the high or the low of the week. In this case, since I wanted to sell GBP USD, I needed Tuesday to create the high of the week, which was what actually happened because 16th was a Tuesday. So that was another um, confluence. And then the third confluence is if you want to sell, it's better you see buy side liquidity taken and then you sell to target sell side liquidity. And just flip it for a buy like that. if you want to buy you need to see sell side liquidity so in this case uh, this was um sell side liquidity and then you buy to simply target the buy side liquidity which was this right here so this was both a good buy trade and a good sell trade however i think the sell trade was in line with the overall higher time frame directional trend so uh that would have given uh, a better risk to reward and a bigger move so that was that was basically it and uh gbp usd went straight to profit so um the economic calendar for the week tends to drive uh the market direction and uh helps you know what pair would likely be the big mover for that week and that was how take profit got it uh, in london session the following day so the economic calendar i use it to plan what pairs will likely be the big movers for the week um, I know typically Tuesday tends to create the high or the low of the week 70% of the time. And then I use uh, liquidity to frame my entries and my uh, profit targets likewise. Um, so let me know if you liked this video, if you learned anything. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section. Join my Telegram channel uh, for follow-up updates. Thank you so much. Have a great day.